So you've been watching all these rappers and singers and sports figures all over the place, whether they're on Instagram, or they're posting on TikTok, they're showing you all of their lifestyle while making millions. Then on top of it, you have all of these fake guru a-holes going around saying how easy and wonderful it is. In this particular video, I'm gonna talk about the simple approaches to building wealth in your 20s, so stay tuned. It's so funny how often you see someone making loads of money, whether it's Mike Tyson having made $500 million in his lifestyle, or I'm dating myself, MC Hammer, building building a palatial house going into bankruptcy or 50 cents or anybody else. You see this rise and fall of people and it doesn't really matter so much how much money you make, it's what you do and how you utilize the tactics of sound investment. So this should be a learning lesson. It doesn't matter what you're driving, it matters what your drive is. Do you want me to repeat that again? Go ahead, take notes because it all matters where your drive is. So we've got all, all these examples out there of very highly successful people, whether it's on Wall Street or whether it's on the court somewhere people who make millions if not billions of dollars and then they're filing for bankruptcy. Now, there's a lot of different reasons and it could be complex but the simple approach is be cautious on where you spend your money and how. It's a resource and it always ends up running out if it's foolishly used. So let's get into some of the principles that made me a millionaire in my mid-20s. So a little bit about me and where I come from and so you know where my advice comes from. It comes from years of experience. When I first started out I knew nothing about finances. The only thing I knew was that my mom was an illiterate mother who would take me to work with her all over the place and mom had what I call an immigrant mentality of always seeing the, the cup full and when my dad left and we went from middle income to the project my mom always had that mentality ingrained in us that you have to work hard and you have to not leave excuses on the table and you have to always be focused and because of that mindset I was able to carry that mindset throughout my life when I started to buy real estate in my early 20s shortly after going through the military I was able to buy my first house and I took money out and bought my second house and I took money out out and bought a triplex and then I was able to sell that triplex and free one of the houses and I was able to continue that same cycle of over and over again pulling money out and leveraging myself into another transaction or two and before I knew it I had amassed enough real estate in a very short period of time interest rates were low fairly low they're not as low as they were right now and I could leverage up to a certain point that's when I started to convert apartment buildings into condo developments and I was able to make a whole lot of money at that time now you could chalk this up to be luck right place right time but it was more than that. It was having a plan. It was thinking about my future. It was having a desire never to be poor or impoverished. It was that drive. Like I said, it's not what I drove. It's that drive that I had inside of me. And I still have that drive to try to do as much as possible. So mindset is everything. So let's break this down into some areas where you can apply the same principles. It's not that I was smart or good looking or wore great clothes or was well connected. I moved to Los Angeles with very little money, $600 in my pocket. I had a savings back at home and I was able to you know, pull money uh, that I saved up from the military into my first investment. But I moved to Los Angeles with little more than $600 and I was able to invest from there on in. So I know it could be done and I know you could do it as well. First thing first is having a plan. Spending a little time with yourself, the most favorite person in the world is really essential. Knowing exactly where you want to do, knowing exactly where you want to go, and then understanding why you want what you want is essential. Now, not everybody needs a big giant home and to drive exotic cars and that's the meaning of success. Whatever success means to you and whatever that cost amount is, write that down. I'm always surprised because people don't want to spend time alone. There's a reason why you don't go to restaurants and see everybody dining alone, right? It's become kind of a social thing, right? Not to be alone at any time. If they're alone, something's wrong with them. Nobody likes them, all this and that. If, if it takes you a week to do this exercise, so be it because it's going to save you a whole lot of time. So write down everything, right? What your thoughts about wealth are. I want you to look at the negative things that you might be saying yourself about wealth, where it comes from. But having a plan. By X age, I intend to retire. By X age, I intend to buy a house. House. By X age, I intend to start a business. Now you have a plan and then you write down why's. Why is it particularly important to you? Without a why, you're just, just a pie in the sky. You have to think about the why. You want a big home? Why do you want that big house? Why do you want that fancy car? Why do you want to retire by 30? Whatever it is, write all those things down. The other thing is there are more than one way to skin a cat. So I know that there are people telling you that the only way to amass wealth is Amazon FBA or drop shipping or you know starting a digital marketing company or take my course and download this. There are so many different ways to build wealth. There have been janitors and, you know, U.S. postal workers and, you know, people that are, that have even the most menial jobs that have amassed a fortune. I remember when I first started working, I was making $3.75 an hour. My mom was saying that when she first started working as a maid, she was making $2.50 to $2.75 an hour. And that's laughable now. People even in foreign countries don't make that, that low of a wage, but it's not how, it's, it's not how much you make. It's really applying sound principles. So if you look at the Forbes 400, for example, you'll see all type of industries.
industry is represented, whether it's petroleum or steel or the internet, whether it's real estate and somebody made their money from this business or that business. So there's a multitude of ways to amass wealth. I'm not saying we're trying to be on the Forbes 400, but know that there's not always one answer. Mine happened to come from real estate. I know another friend that got into the car washing business. I know somebody else that did landscaping and amassed wealth. So it doesn't matter. Don't fall for the, it's only my way that's gonna get you wealth. So the more you understand that in your 20s, the better it is for you because I want you to try to find things that you love to do, that you like to do, not necessarily because you think they're the fastest and the quickest road to success and wealth. The other thing I wanna talk about is valuing time. Time is not a resource that you can build back up. It's diminishing all the time. So be thoughtful with the time that you spend because now you're in your 20s and pretty soon you're gonna be in your 30s and 40s and beyond. Time goes really quickly, especially when you're not paying attention. One week turns into two and then a month and a year and before you know it, you've missed the opportunity. So if you are in your 20s or even in your 30s, right now is the time to go ahead and make wise decisions. Every decision you make will have an impact on you. You decide to eat a burger, the ramifications don't show up till way later. You have to think what you do now in your early years, this is the real game. This is not when you were in high school or when your decisions could or could not have a huge factor on you. Now everything matters. So be wise enough to make important decisions with some type of process. Be wise enough to understand that the time you spend right now, you're never going to get back. So pick the people that you want to be around, pick the things that you want to do, have a little bit of fun, enjoy the experience, but constantly know that every minute you waste is not a minute you're going to get back. And it's really important in the 20s because if you utilize the time right now to make investments, to be responsible, the impact will be there for years to come. And before I go on, apply a little bit of liberal pressure to that subscribe button. Let the algorithm know that these videos are worthy so I can continue to make the content that I make. Lastly, learn by doing. You can read a book, you can take a course, you can go to some guru's two-day retreat or whatever, but if you don't do it, you're never going to learn. So if you want to learn about NFTs, go and buy an NFT and learn. Maybe wager a small amount. If you want to learn about crypto, if you want to learn about stocks, go ahead and learn by doing. Are you going to make a mistake? Absolutely. Are you going to F up? Yeah. Yeah, probably likely. Are you gonna get hurt in something? Sure, but learn by doing. Now, obviously, when you learn by doing, right, you're not gonna never know how to ride a bike and then get on a bike and go down the steepest mountain at the highest speed. You're gonna learn by doing in small, methodical, incremental ways, right? You're gonna have training wheels on, you're gonna have your helmet on and all of those things. You're not gonna go down that hill super quick unless you wanna get injured. And so the same thing applies. You're gonna learn by doing, but learn by doing in small steps so that you're constantly learning. Right now, you've got your whole entire life ahead of you, you need to consistently apply this rule so you can experience life, so that you can understand. And that's the only way to learn is by doing. If you want to find out about some of the myths that are keeping you poor, go ahead and hit this video now.